St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Agnes Doyle of Cambridge, Ontario. This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of her husband, Joe, on the fifth anniversary of his death, and for the living and deceased members of the Hunt and Doyle families. By choosing to remember your husband in this way, you are joined by thousands of people across Canada, and on their behalf, I thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the joy and peace of God be with you all. We celebrate the feast of all saints, and let us pray that we may be in that number when the saints go marching in. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. We pray. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, today we rejoice in the holy men and women of every time and place. May their prayers bring us your forgiveness and love. Grant this through Christ, our risen Lord. A reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will, he has not yet been revealed, and what we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in God purify themselves, just as he is pure. The word of the Lord. This is your, the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. The world and those who live in it. For he has founded it on the seas and established it on the rivers. Lord, this is the shall ascend the mountain of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false. Lord, this is the They will receive 
receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Alleluia. labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 